hello friends in this video i will show you how to add a user to your contact list in your firebase app so in my previous video i showed you how to find user using his email or username now here i will show you how to add him to contacts so this is the same page search user activity and here the custom view for the list view is this one and this contains this button add underscore contact it is a text view and this one more button called message here you can see the id is message and id of this is add underscore contact so here in this search user activity first we have to add this firebase db component contacts contacts then in on create we have to add this block contacts stop listening and then in on bind custom view when this button add underscore contact is clicked here i create a new map variable and in this map variable i put the key the uid of the user get value at position key uid of list map result underscore users and i set its value to true and then I add it to Firebase DB contacts with key Firebase auth get UID. Contacts add key Firebase auth get UID value map. So this UID will be added to the contacts of current user. And then I toast user added to contacts. Now let's have a look at the app. So here when I go to find user, here I can find any user. Currently there are three users. So this is user one. And when I, uh, this is actually myself. So I, I can add myself to my contacts. So now I am added to my contacts. Now I will find the second user. This is the second user and when I click on add to contacts, this user also gets added and let me find the third user. This is the third user and this is also added to contacts. Now suppose if I search the first user again, here you can see it shows added to contacts and when I click on this button it doesn't work. So now I will show you how to do that. And first I will show you what is these buttons did in the database. So here in the database, you can see the this data location contacts and then it contains my UID. This is followed by the UID of three different users and value of all, the, all those is true. So now I will show you how to find if this user is already added to contacts or not. So for that we again have to go to onbind custom view and here we have to use this. First we have to set a string variable to the UID of the user which we have to check if it is added to contacts or not. So it is get value at position key UID of list map result underscore users. Then I set another string variable my UID to Firebase auth get UID and then I use this code underscore Firebase dot get reference dot child contacts dot child my UID dot child UID. Okay, so here I made reference to contacts followed by my UID followed by UID of the user. So the value here the data snapshot will be only this string variable which is true. Okay, so to this I add a value event listener, new value event listener which contains this on data change method and data snapshot underscore param1. So here the value of this data snapshot will be a string variable. So from this param1 I get the value in string form 
underscore param one dot get value string dot class and that I set to a string variable called is underscore contact. So if it is true, the string variable is underscore contact will be equal to true. If it is not true, then it will be false or it will be null. So after this, I use if else block or if else code. So if this string variable is contact is not equal to null and is contact dot equals true then for the text view add contacts I set text add it to contacts and for add contact I set enabled false else for add contacts I set text add to contacts and add contacts set enabled true after this I close this try and then catch exception and if there is any exception I show it as message and in the end there is on cancelled method where I do nothing and in the end I close all the brackets so you can take a screenshot or I will post this code in uh, the in comments okay and that's all here there is one more button which is message button where I use intent to move to private chat activity with the UID of the user get value at position key UID of result users that's why in this video thank you very much for watching this